Do you know a build that's big, tanky, smart, and has a long nose to pick items from afar? And no, it's not a hacker build. Is Elephant. <coughs> Open the world where the mysteries are revealed, what you have never imagined. You're playing on the Africa server, the most brutal map in nature, where if you slip up for even a second, you're out of the game. Or either by a pack of lions or a deadly hit from the hippo boss, choosing the elephant is an insanely meta decision. With nearly full health, AOE damage potential, and the ultimate move, trumpet cannon, the elephant seems like the ultimate OP build, but is the elephant really that OP? If you think you've mastered the natural meta, I'm sorry to say, you're still stuck in bronze. Today, we're gonna evaluate the elephant build and see if it's the ultimate tank or just a flashy early game boss that looks intimidating but runs out of steam. If you've ever fought a dragon boss and watched its HP bar drop slower than your patience, that's pretty much what it's like when a predator takes on an elephant. Elephants have way more HP than any other melee build, plus armor in the form of two to four centimeters thick skin. They're basically resistant to almost all standard physical attacks. Even when ganged up on by a lion squad, the top DPS build on the Africa server, the elephant can still tank for a solid minute before it has to retreat back to its turret. Oh, to the nearest bush. Elephant skin isn't just thick, it also gives solid resistance to parasites, one of the most annoying status effects in the game that most builds struggle with. On top of that, the elephant build is basically immune to classic debuffs like leeches or biting flies, a huge advantage for long-term play. Offense, versatile attacks with long-range hitboxes and serious knockback. Don't think the elephant is just a walking damage sponge. Its moveset may be small, but every attack hits like a crit. Are you underestimating me? You might want to rethink that. Tusk Jab, a ranged attack that can parry, counter, and combo into a pushback. It's hard to dodge and can even pierce light armor. Stomp, a physical AOE attack, especially effective against low health builds like servals, wild dogs, or anyone who gets too close. Trunk Swipe, a wide area physical skill with a tricky hitbox, capable of causing a light stun. Trumpet Blast, ultimate AOE, no physical damage, but a map-wide mental debuff that sends predators running for their lives especially effective during contested objectives like water holes. Not just tanky, but smart too. Don't think you know all about me. The Elephant is the only tank build with intelligence stats that rival the Dolphin build, one of the top classes for puzzles, teamwork, and memory. The Elephant can remember the locations of water sources, feeding grounds, or dangerous traps, even after multiple seasons. It'll even grab sticks to extend its hitbox or swat away mosquitoes. It can observe other players to learn new playstyles and level up its skills faster. Basically, if you pit an elephant team against a team of monkeys or humans, the elephant team can easily learn new strategies and adapt much faster. Move slow, but nobody dares to block its path. You can try if you want to be a sandwich. The only weakness of the elephant build is its speed. It can't jump, climbing is terrible, and its running speed, well, even a giraffe can outrun it. But hey, that's just how games work. If a tank could also outrun you, the game would be broken. Although elephants cannot move fast, they, surprisingly decent at swimming, thanks to the snorkel skill, using its trunk as a breathing tube to cross rivers with ease, applies the living roadblock effect. Predators can't easily get past if an elephant decides to body block the path. Good team play always moving in groups, making the possibility of being ganked extremely low. Team play. The whole herd functions like one massive walking fortress. Elephants live in herds, teams of six to 30 members with tight coordination. If a calf gets targeted, the squad auto activates their taliation skill, sometimes chasing intruders for miles just to send a warning. The elephant build doesn't need speed. Its teammates provide buffs across the board. Plus, every herd has a leader, usually an experienced adult female, who acts as the tactical commander with tons of game knowledge. So are elephants really steer? Overall, the elephant is a stable, durable build that's nearly impossible to push out of the meta. Perfect for players who enjoy comedic tanking, 
blocking paths, disrupting fights, and stealing resources without even needing to go full PvP. So what happens if the elephant goes up against the crocodile? When we look at the total stats, the African elephant is clearly the ultimate endgame build. With max HP, insane armor, and a perfect teamwork score, it's a powerhouse that's almost impossible to outclass. On the other hand, the Crocodile is an ancient build that survives through high burst damage and tanky armor. While its INT is almost too low to unlock any teamwork or tech skills, its underwater stealth and death roll bite make it a dangerous ambush predator. Its SPD in water is pretty solid, but once it's on land, it's auto lag mode. The Elephant is a tank buffing strategic team player, while the Crocodile is the ultimate solo predator lurking in the swamps to catch noobs. One is the top meta of the African server, the other is a hidden boss in the marshlands. What happens when they clash? In water, the croc might land a surprise hit or two, but on land, especially when the elephant's in a party, it's a log out early situation for the croc. No build is without its weaknesses. While the African elephant may seem like a maxed out build, there are still a few critical flaws. And no, it's not a game bug. It's just that nature hasn't updated the patch yet. First weakness, speed. With a SPD of three, the elephant can't catch anyone and can't escape either. It's like a MOBA tank that can only walk without a dash. Facing an urgent situation, the elephant can only watch its enemies run away while letting out a heavy sigh through its trunk. Second weakness, sounds a bit funny, but it can't jump. Exactly, the elephant can't jump, Despite its massive muscles and weight, this build just can't unlock the basic move, jump over obstacles. This makes simple terrains like water ditches, shallow trenches, or low stone steps into unexpected mini-bosses. The elephant can easily get stuck on these. Looking like a newbie who forgot to level up basic movement skills, finally, while the elephant is smart, it has a tendency to lag emotionally in high-pressure situations. If provoked, this build can easily go into rage mode, losing control and causing team kills or accidentally trampling civilians. Not only that, but when it's young, this build is incredibly weak, vulnerable to being camped by predators like lions, hyenas, or even crocodiles. The elephant build is the ultimate main tank. Few skills, but every one of them is top tier. It's not flashy or complicated, but it's incredibly effective. With massive health, high intelligence, versatile abilities, and top-tier teamwork, the Elephant is the perfect choice for players who prefer the long game, aren't afraid of a few hits, and know how to play for the real advantages. What do you think? If you had to solo against an Elephant, which build would you choose? Let us know in the comments. And if you think it can't get scarier than this, don't worry. The next episode will ruin your sleep. Leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next great combats.